Call of Duty 2020 is meant to be developed by Treyarch, and as far as we know, that's still going down, whether it's Black Ops 5 or it's a Black Ops reboot. But, as Sledgehammer Games was meant to be doing 2020 Call of Duty, and Treyarch was meant to be doing next year's instalment, this doesn't bode well. It sounds like the game could be rushed, as originally black ops 4 was meant to be supported for at least another year apparently they said it was a three year life span for that game there's there's not been any new content since that announcement so that kind of says that treyarch are all eggs in the basket for the next call of duty so this worries me because it could be really rushed and could be terrible and call of duty isn't what it used to be you look back in the day at all those games that were released, you COD 4, World at War, MW2, Black Ops, all of these games were just, I wouldn't say perfect, because I mean, you look at MW2, like One Man Army, New Tubes, but it was, it was bad, but it was good. Like, it was, it was, everything was overpowered in that game, but it was so, so good. And you look at, like, Black Ops 4, that game released buggy as hell, and Treyarch had a full three years to develop that game. So what they're going to do with less time, and they're rushing as well, it doesn't really sound too good to me. So my idea, and who knows, this might actually happen, release the MW2 multiplayer. For the last couple of years, there have been so many rumours, so many leaks all over the shop, the MW2 campaign was coming, and this was like 2018. 2018, for two years there were leaks. I, I looked at it and thought, you know what, this isn't going to happen. Why would it happen? It's so many rumours, and then nothing came of it. But then, a couple of weeks ago, we got the announcement, oh, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered campaign is coming out tomorrow, and you can uh, download it. And everyone was just like, what? It literally just came out of the blue, like the rumours had died down for ages, no one heard nothing, but then boom, it comes out of nowhere. Apparently there are rumours that there's meant to be multiplayer as well, but again, who knows what will come of it. There is a source, the Gaming Revolution, and apparently he's quite reliable, and the things he has said have been quite accurate, and he says there's going to be a multiplayer to this game. Again, I'm... I'm not getting too excited, I'm not getting my hopes up, but if you think about it, really it does make sense. Black Ops 5, or the what, let's just call it the next instalment of Call of Duty by Treyarch, is going to be rushed. It's not going to be developed properly, it will come out buggy, and who knows what they're doing in the game with its campaign, whether they're going to do another Battle Royale, multiplayer, zombies, so they could have at least three or four things that they're all trying to do at once. And Jason Blundell, the head of zombies, has left. So the whole zombies team is going to be under a new leadership, a new direction. And we don't know how far into the game they are. Whether Jason left at the start, we don't know. So basically, there's, <laughs> there's so many big red flags towards this next installment Call of Duty. They say, no, do not release me. Give me time. So what can you do instead? If you were Activision, surely the best play would to be in maybe a few months' time when Modern Warfare is dying down and people are playing that game less and less, like they normally do. Release the MW2 multiplayer. If Activision release the multiplayer to this game, it will be a guaranteed success. Apparently, it's getting play tested according to the Gaming Revolution. So, just a few months' time, when Call of Duty Modern Warfare is starting to die down, just uh, maybe throw a little trailer out, throw a few teasers out, get the hype building, and then, boom, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer is now available. Oh, and also, I, I wouldn't mind Spec Ops. Spec Ops is good. But multiplayer is the main thing, because it'll be a guaranteed success. 100%. The only problem I could see if you're Activision is how you keep on making money from the game. Because obviously you're going to make a lot of money from sales. But recently, 
that hasn't been good enough for Activision because they've had to put supply drops in, loot boxes, whatever you want to call them, general microtransactions. But to be fair to them, Modern Warfare stopped that trend and they've just put standard stuff in the store saying if you want to buy this, just just buy it. If you don't, whatever. Even the Battle Pass, like you pay so much for the Battle Pass and then you get the COD points back as you progress through it. So it's a really good system. But obviously Modern Warfare 2, back in that time there was no such thing as microtransactions really the only ones you would get were the map packs so whether they release them again as map packs i think there was two map packs for modern warfare 2 whether they put them in the game straight away or whether they just say okay if you want these maps you're gonna pay an extra so and so for this and i i kind of want i wouldn't mind it but realistically the game's like 10 years old and I'd kind of expect that to be in there but this is Activision obviously they did the exact same thing for Modern Warfare Remastered as well but like I said at the start this is all leaks and rumours so who knows what is actually going to happen but I mean come on you've, you've got to admit it makes sense to release this rather than rush out the next Call of Duty for it to be buggy and then everyone just hating on it because let's be real it's 2020 people like to hate on call of duty don't know if you noticed over the years so we'll have to see like i said where it goes makes sense for me hope it happens please activision just use your brain and and then we'll fill your wallet okay i'm not always one for filling your wallet but if it's modern warfare 2 remastered multiplayer yes please also i just want to point out Plaques on the pictures also say Modern Warfare Collection. So, come on Activision, do something, whether it's Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, or maybe a Modern Warfare 3 campaign. Again, I'd like the multiplayer for that as well. Do something, please. Don't rush out Call of Duty 2020 for it to be rubbish. Give Trout their time. Release Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer anyway guys i don't know about you but it all makes sense to me let me know in the comments section below if you agree or any other ideas or any theories that might come true hopefully they'll come true hopefully modern warfare 2 multiplayer come on come on man but yeah hope you've enjoyed the video and hopefully i haven't rambled on too much got a bad habit of that and uh thanks for watching peace out